Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to be working in my traveler's notebook. I have this 4x8 picture of our amazing view back in April when we went on vacation to Austin, Texas. Now I know it's September and it's a few months later, but that doesn't bother me. I document all the pictures that I print out. I don't throw anything away and it doesn't bother me that it's a few months later. So I will be using it for today's layout. And because my picture is a 4x8 and it took up a whole page, and you guys know I love to layer my pictures, and obviously I can't layer this one, so I will be layering my title. Now, this is a great way to use your pattern paper and um, just kind of play around, I guess. And what I love to do when I start layering is start with my darkest color, especially on a big page like this. It helps when you add different colors and it helps to kind of bring out the lighter colors once you do that, um, if that makes sense. I'm just going to start with my darkest, so I started with my black, then I grabbed a different kind of black and white pattern, and now I'm adding color, which I grabbed this white and pink. And you can see, even though I have three layers right now, it doesn't look busy. I'm going to start scrunching up my paper to give some texture. I'll even do a little flip on the corner of this one because I love the pattern on the back of this paper. It's like a marble and it matched really nicely with the other layers. So I decided to do a little flip. I also wanna add a subtle pattern paper to stamp on. And I go for this uh, grayish white striped pattern paper because I want to stamp on it so I don't want it to be busy. You really don't want to stamp on busy pattern paper then you won't be able to see what you stamped. So I like this one. I'm going to go for that one. I just cut it down. I think I cut it down to a 3 by 4 I will be using this branding strip and it's a baby blue even though there's no baby blue on my page or on my picture or anything like that but it works really nicely with my layers and it added another layer to my layers so I just go for it and cut it down um, then I'm going to be grabbing my stamps I kind of messed up when I was stamping I wanted to stamp out uh, here in Austin and I totally forgot to stamp in so it, I got stuck with here, Austin. Now you guys know me, I do not care. I rarely ever uh, will start over or I try to figure out ways to hide my mistakes. That's what I usually do. And if I can't, I just go with it. So, and this is what happened in this layout. I stamped out here with my feature craft stamps. And then I started to stamp out Austin with my uh, Kelly Perky stamps. And halfway through, I was like, oh, I forgot to stamp out the N, but it's not a big deal. I even should have started with my U so I can center it right perfectly under my here, but I didn't do that. So what I decided to do was to go ahead and stamp the T um, more to the right. And it's going to look like I did this whole thing on purpose. No one would ever know, but you guys. <laughs> so I just go with it. I'm like, you know what, it's not about perfection. It's about me crafting and documenting my journey. So just go with it. Don't stress over little mistakes. It's not a big deal. Anyways, I'm going to cut down the little title card because I felt like it was way too big and because I want to still add my embellishments and add some clusters to my layout. So as you guys know, I really enjoy adding doilies to my layers. And the reason I like doing that is because I feel like doilies soften the layers and it adds a different texture to your layers. So you have all this paper adding a doily, even though it's really paper, but adding a doily just softens it and changes the texture. 
Um, I will be adding this black strip because I started with black. I want to end it with black. And when you do that, your eyes kind of start from your first layer and it will go right back up to your last layer. Even though it's not a full sheet of paper or anything bold, it's just a little strip, but it will still help your eyes kind of focus on certain parts of your layers. And that's just another tip. Start with one color, end with the same color. Now I'm just going through my embellishments. I'm trying to see what matches, where I want to add everything. I really love this uh, dark pink tab. And I just added that right there where it kind of framed my title, even though it's not, it doesn't go all around my title, but it will still frame it and add that nice little layer to it. So I want to add something to my picture, just a little embellishment. I end up finding this heart and I stick it right there in the middle. I really like how that turned out. And then I'm just going through my puffy stickers and adding more layers to my title with my embellishments. I do end up moving that blue little heart somewhere else. I think I end up using it right there in my cluster of embellishments. And then I call my layout done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.